Hi everyone, I am Dr. Surinder. I am neonatologist from Rainbow Children's Hospital, Sikandarabad branch. Uh, today, I would like to share my experience about a baby whom we treated successfully and discharged. This baby was born at Nizambad. Then we received a transport call. I had arranged our transport team to get the baby. As soon as baby was born, baby had breathing difficulty. So our transport team had gone there, picked up the baby with the transport ventilator and uh, uh, shifted the baby to our uh, NICU at uh, uh, Rainbow Children's Hospital, Hyderabad. Then at the time of admission, baby was very sick. Uh, baby was not maintaining oxygen saturation, requiring very high respiratory support with mechanical ventilator. Uh, uh, car the uh, carbon dioxide levels are also very high. Then uh, not able to maintain blood pressure as well. Then uh, we were trying to trace the reason what could be uh, a problem with the baby. Initially we thought it could be any congenital heart disease or so. But uh, we got the chest x-ray and uh, we have other uh, manoeuvres where we can uh, diagnose the uh, condition which is called as a PPH and that is called as a persistent pulmonary hypertension. Normally inside the womb the blood pressures within the lungs will be very high but uh, after baby is born if the oxygen levels are all fine the pulmonary blood pressure gradually reduces and baby breathes the, if the transition is smooth enough then things will settle down and baby will be normal for any reason if the oxygen in the baby is less then the blood pressures will not come down in the lungs then that will lead to a condition called as persistent pulmonary hypertension so this baby we ventilated then uh, we started on uh, antibiotics uh, we uh, supported the baby to maintain the blood pressure with uh, uh, inotropes with medications and ventilation wise no matter how much ever high ventilatory support we were using the carbon dioxide levels in the baby were very high almost about 90 or so the blood ph levels have dropped to even 6.9 which is normally supposed to be 7.35 to 7.45 and the oxygen levels were almost 25 26 with 100 percent oxygen so then this uh, ventilator support what we were giving to the baby was a conventional mechanical ventilator which normally gives uh, rates of around uh, ventilator rates of around uh, uh, 40 to 60 per minute now when we switched over to conventional uh, sorry high frequency oscillation which is called as this will give around 600 time respiratory breaths to the baby uh, per minute so that ventilator we have used despite using that ventilator which is called as high frequency oscillation ventilator Still, we were not able to get the oxygen levels up or not reduce the carbon dioxide levels. Then there is a special gas which is called as a inhaled nitric oxide therapy. This, what does it does is normally the blood, presses, uh, blood vessels which are constricted within the lungs, it selectively relaxes those uh, blood vessels. Thereby, when the heart pumps, the blood enters the lungs easily. Before starting inhaled nitric oxide therapy, no matter whatever we were doing, we were not able to pump blood to the uh, lungs properly. Thereby oxygenation was reduced and carbon, carbon dioxide levels were very high. So the moment we started this inhaled nitric oxide therapy, then the blood vessels uh, got relaxed. Then gradually uh, the oxygenation levels improved, carbon dioxide levels came down. We could successfully uh, wean off uh, this inhaled nitric oxide therapy as the oxygen levels got better. And at the same time, we could reduce the ventilatory support and uh, go, uh, board the baby off mechanical ventilator successfully. Then subsequently off oxygen and we started oral feed as well. Then successfully we could discharge this baby. Now, the reason why I'm describing what this particular case is, uh, this kind of cases usually we don't see very often. But even if we see, majority of the times we can be able to successfully manage them with uh, um, minimal uh, respiratory support as well. Maybe I, as I've told you by conventional mechanical ventilator itself, majority of the times we will be able to successfully treat. And uh, in this particular case, uh, there was infection in the baby right from the time of birth and probably that has induced uh, that, that, is, that could be the reason for this high uh, blood pressure within the lungs which is called as persistent pulmonary hypertension of this baby. So this baby was the uh, second baby for them. Initially the mother had an uh, early abortion, early trimester abortion. So uh, we had to get the baby and treat successfully and discharge. Totally we could treat the baby for almost uh, 13 days in the hospital and finally we discharged the baby successfully.
నమస్కారం అండి మాది లకొర విలేజ్ నిజామాబాద్ డిస్టిక్ అండి ఈ అమ్మాయి ఇది రెండవ కాన్పు ఈ అమ్మాయికి మొదట బాబు బుట్టి అతను కొద్దిగా ప్రాబ్లమ్తో ఇది అయిపోయింది నెక్స్ట్ ఈ అమ్మాయి పుట్టింది పుట్టిన తర్వాత ఇది కవిత హాస్పిటల్ నిజామాబాద్ ఉమ్ము మింగింది అనే ఉద్దేశం లంగ్స్ ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చేసింది అక్కడ కాదు అని మీరు చెప్పడంతో ఇక్కడ మేము ఫోన్లో ఇక్కడ కాంటాక్ట్ చేసి మేము రెయిన్బో హాస్పిటల్కి రావడం జరిగింది రెయిన్బో హాస్పిటల్లో సార్ సురేందర్ సార్ ఆ రోజు నైట్ మేము తీసుకొచ్చిన తర్వాత విత్ ట్వెల్వ్ అవర్స్ మా అమ్మాయి బట్టి ఉండి మంచి ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇచ్చి మాకు చాలా బాగా ట్రీట్మెంట్ జరిగింది సార్ అయితే ఈ అమ్మాయి సార్ కూడా కొన్ని విషయాలు చెప్పిండు ఈ అమ్మాయి కోల్పోవడానికి ఒక పది మంది కొన్ని కోరుకుంటారు ఇట్లా ఇంతకాలం అని చెప్పారు ఆ నైట్రిక్ ఆసిడ్ ఆ గ్యాస్ కానీ హై ప్రెషర్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్తో ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేసినందుకు మేము మేము ఒక టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డేస్ ట్వెల్వ్ డేస్లో రికవర్ అయింది సార్ ఇప్పటికీ మంచి మాకైతే హాస్పిటల్ ద్వారా అన్ని సేవలు బాగానే ఉన్నాయి వెరీ గుడ్ ఐ విల్ అప్రిషియేటింగ్ ది స్టాఫ్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఈజ్ కో కోఆపరేటింగ్ కదా సార్ మేము మేము మిగతా వాళ్ళకు కూడా చెప్పుకోవడానికి చెప్పుకుంటాం సార్ బాగా చేసిండ్రు ఈ హాస్పిటల్ గర్వంగా చెప్పుకుంటున్నాం సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ so finally i would like to say one thing uh, it's a team effort and rainbow children's hospital we believe in team work uh, it was uh, all our team who have put collective effort in successfully treating this baby and discharge so i thank all my doctors all my colleagues and uh, uh, all my nursing staff as well and other hospital supportive team thank you